Hi there. Now, this question comes in two parts. We'll just tackle the first part first. And that is, we've got to show that the equation sine theta tan theta equals 3 cos theta plus 2. And that it can be written in the form 4 cos squared theta plus 2 cos theta minus 1 equals 0 for 3 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So starting then with part A, we've got sine theta then multiplied by tan theta equals 3 cos theta plus 2. So when I look at what we've got to get here, it's all in terms of cosine theta. So I seem to be OK with this term. It's this term that I've got to work on. Now, tan theta, we should be familiar with, is the same as sine theta divided by cos theta. So if I use that first of all, we've got this sine theta, and then it's multiplied by sine theta over cos theta, the equivalent of tan theta here. And that's going to equal 3 cos theta plus 2. So at least I've introduced another cos theta into our equation here. So sine theta times sine theta, that's going to be sine squared theta. And this will be then divided by cos theta. But I'm going to multiply each term by cos theta. So that's just going to leave me with sine squared theta here. And then I'm going to get 3 cos theta times another cos theta, which is 3 cos squared theta. And then multiply the term 2 with cos theta, and that's going to give me 2 cos theta. OK, now we should be familiar with the fact that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta comes to 1. So rearranging that identity gives us that sine squared theta is identical to 1 minus cos squared theta. So we've got 1 minus cos squared theta in place of sine squared theta then equals 3 cos squared theta plus the 2 cos theta. So we must be nearly getting there now, and in, indeed we are, because if we add cos squared theta to both sides, I can see that we're going to get 4 cos squared theta, that term there. Then we've got the 2 cos theta, and then we just subtract 1 from both sides. So we're there. So I can just say that we get 4 cos squared theta plus 2 cos theta and then minus 1 and that equals 0. OK, so we've done that. Now for part B. It says hence solve for theta greater than or equal to 0 less than 360 degrees. The equation sine theta tan theta equals 3 cos theta plus 2. Showing each stage of your working for five marks. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So for part B then, what we've got here is a quadratic equation in what we call cos theta. So to solve this, I'd normally want to factorise it, but just looking at it, it doesn't appear to factorise. So we need to use the quadratic formula. So I'm assuming you're familiar with that, where a is the 4, b is the 2, and c is minus 1. So using the quadratic formula, which normally is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. In place of x, we've got cos theta here. So it's cos theta equals minus b. b was 2, so minus b is going to be minus 2. Plus or minus the square root of b squared. So we've got b, which was 2, so we've got 2 squared minus 4 times a times c. Well, a is 4, and c is minus 1. 
and all of this is divided by 2a, 2 times the 4, okay, 2 times 4. Now if you clean this up, what we get is the minus 2 at the front here, and then we've got 4, and then here we've got minus, minus 16, so it's 4 plus 16, which is 20, so you've got two, minus 2 plus or minus the root of 20, and all of this is divided by two fours, which are 8, okay? So let's just continue down on the right here. And so working this out, we therefore got two versions for cos theta. If we take the positive version here, minus 2 plus the root of 20, all divided by 8, Working that on your calculator comes to 0 0.3090 and so on. And if you take the negative version for uh, cos theta here, we got minus 2 minus root 20 all divided by 8. You'll find that you get, we'll put or cos theta equals minus 0 0.8090 and so on. Okay? So we need to do this in two parts. We'll take this one here and we'll inverse cos both sides. So therefore we get theta equals the inverse cos of 0 0.3090 and so on. And if we do the same for this one, we've got or theta equals the inverse cos of minus, we'll put that in brackets, minus 0 0.3090. 8090 and so on. Okay. Now for this one, I'm going to draw a quadrant diagram, okay, rather than using a graphical method. I'm assuming you're familiar with quadrant diagrams. If not, do check them out on my website. So we've got zero degrees here. We've got the cosine of an angle, theta, equals a positive value. Cosine is positive in what we call the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So we draw two lines equally inclined to this initial line, marking those angles as being the same. And we want possible solutions for theta that are between 0 and 360 degrees. So starting from 0 here, we can see that one of them would be to turn to the first blue line. That's a possible value for theta. And then another possible value for theta is starting from zero again, turning anti-clockwise all the way around till we get to this next blue line. That too is going to be a possible value for theta. So when you inverse cos 0 0.3090 and so on, you find that theta comes out to equal 72 degrees, which must correspond with this red theta here. So that means this little blue angle in here is 72 degrees. So to get the green theta, all I've got to do is do 360 degrees minus the 72 degrees. And that comes to 288 degrees. Okay, well that's that one. Let's just border this off, okay? Let's draw another quadrant diagram for this particular equation. And uh, if we do much the same kind of thing, zero degrees there, only this time cosine of theta is equal to a negative value. And cosine is negative in the second and third quadrant. So with this one, draw a line equally inclined to the horizontal line, marking in these two angles as being exactly the same. So what are the possible values for theta this time? Well, starting from here, okay, turning anti-clockwise to the first blue line, that certainly is one possible solution for theta. And the other one, starting from here again, turning anti-clockwise till we get to the next blue line, gives us another possible angle for theta. So if you inverse cosine minus 0 0.8090, make sure your calculator is in degrees mode by the way, 
you should find that theta equals 144 degrees. Okay, so that's our red theta here. So looking at this, this little blue angle in here, that's going to be 180 take away 144 degrees. That's going to be 36 degrees in there. Okay, for the little blue one. So to get the green one, you could do 180 plus 36. So if you do that, you'll find you get 216 degrees. So if we put all the values of theta in order of size, then theta is going to equal 72 degrees, then 144 degrees, then 216 degrees, and finally 288 degrees.